up YouTube, I'm Blake and today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be getting you guys the closest look of the new and upcoming Zebra Yeezy 350 V2. So picture just popped up, um, that is what is expected to release at the end of February. Um, basically the only details that we do have right now are that it's releasing at the end of February, it's going to be very limited, it's going to be one of the most limited colorways. Um, we do have like a white translucent sole and it's scheduled to release on fe February 25th for retail 220 and it's supposed to be one of the most limited colorways that will ever come out. We do have like the nice crazy I guess looking upper it's something different that we haven't seen and I really really am digging it. But I do want to give a huge thank you to Sample Talk for allowing me to use all of his photos. These are all his and that's why I will have his Instagram in the corner the entire time. So if you guys wanna go check him out, check out what he's got, make sure to go follow him. Yeah, he has the all white V2s that aren't out yet. Bunch of sample Ultra Boosts and NMDs, so super crazy. So yeah, sample talk on Instagram. Huge shout out to him for letting me show you guys his photos. So I guess when we just go through these photos, I really like how these are looking and I feel like these are really gonna pop in the right way. I feel like this is probably one of the best colorways that has released. I really also do like the, the Turtle Dove V2, the all gray one with the glow bottom. I really like that as well. We have another side view right there. I really do like how like a lot of the shoe is like off white and then we have that white, uh, white stripe going and with the red font, it looks really nice and it pops. Now when we see the sole, it looks like a translucent, possibly glow-in-the-dark sole. I don't want to say it's glow-in-the-dark just because I don't feel like this shoe would look good, so I don't think they'd do that and add that feature on this colorway. But then we have the sample tag right there. That is a big, I guess, key to test, to, I guess, just making sure and trying to legit check an early sample pair. And this sample tag, according to everything that I've learned and everything I know about, it does seem right, it does seem correct. Again, this is not my shoe. This is Sample Talk's personal photos. So he sent me all these earlier today. So yeah, that sample tag, it looks pretty good. Um, I, I honestly don't know how to legit check them perfectly, but from my understanding, it seems right. The font's right, it's at the bottom. And then it's sort of slightly co covered by that um, insole. Not like I usually just take the insole out when I wear V2s now, but we have a side view. It doesn't really look that pleasing from this side. I'm gonna be totally honest, it looks really sort of bad from this side. But when you go back to the front view, it looks a lot better. Very, very key aspect of this sneaker right here. We have the pull tab on the back. Um, it seems like it's the right amount of dots. So honestly, like I believe and I trust all these photos. But with that pull tab, it does look really nice. I feel like a lot of people were hating on it when they put it on the V2 on the red v2s because that is confirmed now they just posted photos on adidas i feel like a lot of people were hating on it but now everybody loves it i love it i always liked it the v2s without it look really nice and i actually have my red pair right here i feel like one really tricky part to being able to tell if the new ones are real or fake is going to be this line right here when i'm looking at this photo it looks like the line instead of going down it goes up like right here you look on the back of the heel tab it's going it starts right here it's going down and it goes up it goes like whew, instead of just stopping so this is the red v2 obviously super dope my favorite colorway out of all of them but it's gonna be sort of i guess hard to tell with this new back tab because it's also covering that stripe so who knows but to have another upper view in this photo, it honestly looks like these are going like too much, like these these stripes everywhere, it's sort of making me dizzy. But again, I feel like these are pretty sick. I just feel like the inside of the two sides is a little hectic, like I can't even tell what's going on. Um, it seems like these are straight out of the factory. So I honestly don't know the whole story behind these, but it seems like from here, like these are straight from production. So that's super sick, that's a cool photo. Then we have the upper view right here with the laces. I really like that super loose laced look on the V2s. I feel like it just looks really nice. And then we have that upper view again. Um, these look really nice in this photo. Really, really nice. And then we do have 
this, which is actually a super important photo, and hopefully I'm allowed to be showing this, but to have a factory, I guess, sample tag, I wanna say, if I'm mistaken by like what that tag is called in my bad. But this is like, this is where it came from. That tag right there, that's like some hard to see stuff. Like I don't think anybody else on YouTube is going to show this shoot with that tag. So hopefully I'm allowed to be showing it to you guys. So yeah, make sure you like down below if you enjoy. But then we have the in-hand look here. The tan is popping. The sole seems to be like, I guess a little tan as well. It looks really, really nice. And in my opinion, I'm really excited to see these in person. Obviously I'm gonna try to go after them. I probably will end up getting them right when they come out. But I really just wanna try to wait and see where the price goes on them. Cause a lot of people have said that those are going to be one of the most expensive colorways to ever release. So if they're gonna be like two grand, then I may have to wait a little bit. Just cause I don't feel like V2s are worth that much. So, I mean, yeah. But right now I am on YouTube. I've been checking out one of my latest videos, how it's been doing, and we're at 90,000 views real time. Sneaker shopping with my sister. You guys showed so much support on this video. It's ridiculous. Almost 90,000 views in under 24 hours. I posted this video last night at 11.30. Yeah, like around 11.30. It's six o'clock right now. That's less than 24 hours. And it's at 90,000 views. A lot of you guys are subbing right now too. We're really trying to get to that 200K mark. All I can say guys is it's been a long journey. It's been a great journey. If you've been with me since day one, I thank you, I appreciate you. If you just joined the family, I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. I really thank you guys. You guys have been super active lately. My last few videos have got well over 50,000 views, which is crazy. I really, really can't complain right now. We're about to hit 200K. I could barely even imagine hitting 100K when I started, barely hitting 10K when I started. And all this is still crazy to me, and I thank you guys. I know that without you, none of this would be possible. And I never go about doing this YouTube without thinking that and having that on my mind. Cause you guys are, you guys are my, my family and my channel. You guys are the channel. So, I had 200,000 subscribers. I will be giving these away. Winner does pick size. So the faster we get to that, the faster I'll be able to send these out. These look orange right now. But it's because I have a light right here. But yeah, winner does pick these, their size. They do get to pick their own size. It will be emailed after I pick it randomly. So the closer we get to 200K, the faster I'll get those away. My Instagram has been popping lately. We're at 154,000. Ridiculous. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Like you have no idea. I will be at SneakerCon Fort Lauderdale. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to go to all these shows this year. I'm really excited. Can't wait to meet you guys. I will have these for sale. The B Sneak All Suede Cap. Super good quality. I really, really do like these hats. Super limited. I think there's like 20 or 30. And I do have a shirt that I will be selling. This hoodie is one of one as of now, just cause I'm not gonna be selling hoodies in Miami. It's gonna be like 80, 90 degrees there. Hopefully I want some warm weather, but there's no point in bringing hoodies. So I have t-shirts with this logo right here. The BC Calabasas inspired, super dope. Great quality on all this stuff. So I really do appreciate all the support. If you're new, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I wish I had these in hand. I know a lot of you guys have mixed opinions on me doing these videos, but if you guys like them, I'll keep doing them. I get a lot of photos that a lot of people aren't getting, and if I can show them to you guys in a nice, presentable way, then I'm gonna do it if you guys enjoy it. So make sure you leave a like down below if you enjoy. Share this video with your friends, family, homies, whatever. Um, I hope you guys got a good look at this Zebra V2 that's upcoming and released. Hopefully, if you guys want it, you'll get lucky and cop it. I'm gonna try for retail, I always try, but I haven't got lucky. <laughs> so with all that being said, it's your boy B Sneak, your boy Blake. I'll see you guys in a bit, and we are out of here.